not too long ago, we had some friends turn up um, from, from Australia. Australia, from Australia, by the last name of Campbell, and we brought them out here to look at Castle Campbell. But unfortunately, it was closed at the time. <laughs> so it was still absolutely worth the visit. It was absolutely beautiful out here. It was a typical Scottish day, yeah. misty, bit rainy, um, but yeah, beautiful. Whereas today, it's probably more like an Aussie winter. Actually, it's still cold for an Aussie winter for where we were. <laughs> but anyway, still a lovely day. Um, so join us as we go into Castle Campbell and have a look around. There's something about walking up these stairs that I just love. It just makes these buildings feel real. The latrine closet. No, don't come in! The thing that surprises me about Castle Campbell is that parts of it were actually lived in as little as 15 years ago. Well, I think that's what he said. Anyway, um, before it was handed over to Historic Scotland to manage, it's um, amazing to think that. Not me. I didn't carve this into the castle fireplace in Castle Campbell. I love how worn these stairs get and how they're repaired. So it's a little bit dark in here, but the ceiling still has original carvings into it where it's believed that the light fittings of the candles would have hung from. So I'm not sure if you can see those places up there. Apparently this was the original stair um, case. As you can see it's currently been occupied by pigeons. You can only imagine if you were a resident coming out these stairs and looking out over the view. So down here is John Knox's pulpit, is it? Yes, but I don't know exactly how we get to it. Not sure what's in down through here. <laughs> a goblin. It's a hobgoblin. Through the tunnel into the three-tiered garden, I think they said. And an amazing view. These weird. Looks like someone's cut them with a like serrated scissors or something. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling this could be John Knox's pulpit, so he'd come here and do some preaching, but to who? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's back over there. I'll go have a look. So Michael was correct. This is the place that's called John Knox's Pulpit. 
Now, according to the guide that we just spoke to, she said, it is believed that John Knox did um, some preaching here, gave a sermon. We're not sure who to. She thinks maybe um, the deer and the furry woodland creatures or sheep, who knows? But yes, this is known as John Knox's um, pulpit. One of the things that I think make Castle Campbell worth a visit is not just the castle itself, but actually the walk that you can do around here is just magnificent. So um, it's what I feel is this true Scottish countryside. So with all the little streams going through, it's just amazing. So if you come here, make sure you do this walk. It is excellent. Um, they have long walks and short walks. So do what's up, what you can. I just love these little waterfalls as well. Just magnificent. We've just finished at Castle Campbell and come down to Dollar for a bit of lunch. Um, dollar is, what's it mean again? Like it's got a meaning. It's not the dollar as in the currency. It's uh, something about a water meadow, the place of the water meadow, but it also means, in fact, bloom. Bloom or something, but. Dull, dull apparently in Celtic. Yeah. But anyway, so come down to dollar for a spot of lunch and it's just absolutely beautiful so um coming at a really good time of year i think to see yeah. all the blossoms <laughs>